Today is International Women's Day, which celebrates the achievements and empowerment of women all around the world and bringing a unique perspective of women in the current workplace. Earlier, I spoke with Laurel Bellows. She is a skilled business negotiator. She also counsels senior executives and large corporations on employment, severance, and commercial litigation, as well as small to medium-sized businesses and startups. Here's our chat. Laurel Bellows, thank you so much for joining us on this uh, International Women's Day. I, I love the theme this year, which is choose to challenge. I'm curious what that means to you. What that means to me is that if women want to excel in this world at anything they choose to do, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing, you have to make an individual choice that about what you want to do and what you see yourself doing, not for the rest of your life, nobody in the world can choose for the rest of their life, but how about for the next year? Where do you see yourself in one year? Because it isn't something that happens just by chance. All right, people who succeed, women who succeed, succeed by taking a choice and understanding and learning how to advocate for themselves. As an employment attorney, I know you have your pulse on workplaces all across America. Can you describe how the pandemic is affecting women at work right now as they choose to challenge what's going on? For women who are earning a little bit more and have some kind of management position, well, that's a real issue because those women are starting to opt out of the workplace. If they have to choose between family and spouse and work and they can afford to opt out, they're opting out, which means for the next 20 years on what the statistics say, they're not going to be women moving up the line in order to pull other women up behind them. So you're saying they're leaving for good by and large. These aren't women who are during the pandemic choosing to find their balance, stay home where they're needed, but they'll come back once things get back to normal. You don't think that's happening? What? Back to what? That job isn't waiting for them. It's a little bit like talking about Family Medical Leave Act. I mean, it, you can leave because you have to, right? Um, and your job will be there to some extent, but they, the, the company doesn't have the, the requirement to leave that job open if you are voluntarily leaving. That's number one. And number two, based on COVID, these jobs just might not be available. There's lots of people who are not gonna be called back from furlough. So you're making it easy for the company in a sense. Hard for yourself, hard for other women. What are your top three career tips, Laurel, for women, regardless of industry, job, level of responsibility, pay? What are three things that women can do in their field right now uh, to help them succeed and to advocate for themselves learn a skill that you love applying find something you love to do and learn how to do it really well become an expert negotiate 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 but to do that you must develop allies throughout your life my number one tip would be make certain that your allies are diverse they could be teachers and lawyers doctors and artists piano players, uh, child care specialists, anybody. Develop trusting relationships and ask for help. Everyone likes to help people. <laughs> and so don't be afraid to allies. do that. As women, we always have a tough time doing that, but that is yeah, I do. wonderful you know, so advice. Do as I say, not as I do, Mike. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, I love the advice. Uh, it is, it is eye-opening and I think um, optimistic despite uh, the work that we still have to do. On this International Women's Day, choose to challenge is the message. And Laurel Bellows, thank you so much for your time. Marnie, it was fabulous being here.